are back. Yeah. We are back with another video. Back with another one of these trade video. videos, man. Let's go, man. Before we get started, baby, go ahead and bring them on in. Y'all, we are back with another video. Got up something. We got something new today. What we got? White guy on getting his hair cut by a black barber for the first time. Now, I'm so curious to hear. I've been in the barbershop back in the day, and it'd be like a new, you know, person that, like, oh, man, you really just hooked me up. I remember, that was back a long time ago, man. Okay. I ain't been to the barbershop in years, because obviously, you know, no hair. But Let's see. It, doesn't, it, it, it depends on the shop, man. Most, nobody cares about that, though. Bro, I go to get my hair cut today. And I live in Norco, and it's all white people. They Norco. say Norco. Okay. Where you go, bro? Norco. That's around the corner. Bro, I go to get my hair cut today, and I live in Norco, and it's all white people, right? So I go to the white barber like I've been doing her for the past 18 years. I go in there, there's my barber, and there's a little line, and there's this black dude. I've never seen him before. He's a new hire. And this angel from St. Sent directly from heaven is just there, and no one's going to him because we just some racist motherfuckers out here. Don't ask me. Oh. And I was like, you know what? The bros knew. I'm gonna give him a chance. So I sit down in his seat, and everyone's kind of looking at me like. And the dude is wearing J's, so I already know he knows like his shit. He got J's on. <laughs> he got some uh, true religion jeans on, and he got like a little Nike drive. He's like, hey, what's good, bro? Like, what can I get started for you today? What you want? So I was like, uh, can you? Clean me up, please. <laughs> He's like, yeah, bro, I got you. I'm finna invert taper. Two's on the side. Finna clean up the top. I was like, I don't know what, the, I don't know what that means. I heard my black guys <laughs> talk about it, but I don't know. One hour, y'all. One whole hour he cuts my hair. White people do not do that shit. It's only like 15 minutes. And he's sitting there, and the motherfucker has a briefcase. A briefcase with clippers. I didn't even know there was other clippers. I, yes, <laughs> sir. That's that's the professional. You got a real he's barber. Having, my barber's scared that briefcase. You be like, there, boy, okay. I'm about to get a good haircut. All right. But there was one. So he get going and he's talking to me about life. We talk about girls. We talk about ball. We talk about. He made me feel at home. And then you know he ends, and I've heard, I've never heard these clipper noises. There's different noises. He's taking his time and stuff. <laughs> Yep. Look at he fade. He blended it. He blended so it. So then he asked, like, "All right, dude, you good? Let me show you." So he takes, he's showing me like everything, and I, with like a mirror. I've never seen the back of my head before, and this is. He blended it. <laughs> Bro, look how crisp those freaking lines are, dude. He tipped the sides. Crisp. So then I'm about to get up. He's like, "Ah, oh, hold on, bro." He takes this warm towel, bro, and puts that shit on my neck. How, how else you gonna let the pores open up? Oh! Uh, <laughs> bro, barbers are sent from heaven. You guys are miracles. Oh, thank you. White people need this. Thank you. Bro, every black barber out there, I don't know if y'all get. Bro, yeah, I am so Blend it. for you wow, guys. Wow, I'm so sorry it. that my white people are just mean to y'all. You, you got. <laughs> they wow. said they got it. They got them all blended. So I guess he has a new barber now. For sure. Yeah. Let me tell you, man. But that's that. I can tell. I can tell by how you cut. It's. I'm just. It just depend on the. Some cultures cut different. It's kind of like a culture thing. You got. You got white. I know some white boys that are black culture. That. Has. It's that. It's that culture have, cut. Have you been to another barber from a different culture? Yeah, alone. Okay. She ain't had hair forever. But I'm saying, how was the haircut? Before I start going to my permanent barber. Mm -hmm. It was good. Okay. It. Like I said, you ain't been no damn super cuts, but I'm telling I'm going to be in the barbershop. <laughs> <shop. laughs> Fantastic <laughs> Sam. You ain't go to Fantastic <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Bro, when, when we moved out here and I pulled, we pulled in the plaza and I saw Fantastic Sam's, so I was like, Bro, it ain't and like. And you suggest for me to go there, my y'all. My mama took me to Fantastic Sam's one time when I was like, I don't know if I was a teenager or I, my I'm, mama, mama, child, please. Bro, <laughs> I bet you go in them them bar them salons or oh, them, them, and then they do a little swoop and they're like, oh my god, that looks so good. Child, no, because my hair. 
she used to relax it because it was so thick. And but then you got the one texture up here and you got another texture back here. It's like What happened? What they no what they what gonna happened? do to that? What do you mean what happened? What how'd it look? I was not a happy camper. Puff, puff city. Cause you have to know bro, how to Bro walk bro walked in black, walked out as Dolly Parton. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> you gotta press out this stuff, boo. You walk down, you came out and say, you want some coffee? And you want some but you tea? Gotta and work, sugar? You gotta know how to work your either curlers or your bevelin and the want, right kind of products and everything. So you want some sugar in your tea cup? You need tea, honey? Supercuts. You had to stop it. Wow, boy, well, well, uh, uh. Like, I never seen anybody in my life go up in there. The fantastic Samson Supercuts is like going to Arby's. You'd be like, who goes in here? <laughs> but they serve people with so, a so, certain hair texture so that, they Arby's. Can, that they can. Now, Arby's has some good fries. That's the only thing that I would go to Arby's for. Because I went into Oh my the God, <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody go in these spots, man. Oh, but they had to be open. They still be open. I bet you it's the Arby's right now in Atlanta that's still open. I never get mad though. I had this guy cut my hair, new barber, I'd never gone to him. And then he had the nerve to say, you've been healed. <laughs> I said, no. Nah, Your hair must have been jacked up when you got in that chair. So somebody had done, didn't do the best for my hair good. <laughs> it's just clicking as to what he said. <laughs> you've been healed. He said, you've been that healed. Means yo, that means your hair was, yo, woo, what, what, what happened, baby? The, no, I'm like. I've been healed. No, I just look like I just died. What you said? That you said you've been healed. <laughs> so you went from bad to worse. Went bad to terrible. Oh my god! And what god. made it worse is he acknowledged and thought he was super Woo. good, and that ter- haircut was terrible. <laughs> you've been you've been healed. Y'all, that's like the time when I went to that place and got my eyebrows arched. Now you know your eyebrows looking messed up when the people in the barbershop are just looking. And they like head down. I was like, oh, oh, I said, this guy. What's wrong? (laughs) (laughs) Y'all look at me like something's up. I was livid, y'all. I was livid. And I'm like, if you know good wear that you don't know how to arch my eyebrows, why am I going to be the one that you're going to test it out on for the day? And what the thing is. He knew he was wrong. And the people in there, there, they they were in the back, turned around. They knew. Did you pay for it? Please, absolutely not. They you saw knew. the mirror. Would you go? Would you, you had to walk around with it like that? No, you shaved them off. No, shaved. No, no. I don't know what I did. I don't even know if I had to fill them in. I don't even remember if I filled them in or not. I probably didn't fill them in because I don't do the pencil thing up there. You know, <laughs> it was crazy. They offered for me, for me to come back for the the lead person. I was like, that nigga look like she was removing me. <laughs> y'all. Oh, oh, oh my all right, God. All right, we man. digress, y'all. We no. digress. Oh, Sorry. Go ahead, lead them on out, y'all. Baby. Appreciate y'all for hanging out with us again. This was a good video. Let us know if y'all want us to do more of these. And don't forget to share this video, guys. We love y'all, and we'll see you on the next one. See y'all next one, man. Bye-bye. Yeah.